Yeah, well, DeAndre played very well. And, you know, he took good shots in the first half. Um, you know, maybe one or two he could have just waited to get it. But he, he was taking good shots, and he kept shooting. And uh, his versatility defensively allowed us to switch some of those ball screens. Miami is dangerous with, you know, how quick likes is. And um, I thought that helped. But to see that kind of effort, we talked about before the game, can we somehow try to have more energy than Miami, or at least that was a challenge, and be first to the floor, first to the glass. And um, that was a challenge. So that I thought ignited us. And then obviously that was, is that the one he got fouled on, the four point where he hit the three? Or was it, ah, it doesn't matter. So, but um, he had a four point play, but that was a big, big turn right there because we struggled coming out in the second half. Um, we weren't sharp for a, a stretch, but then we regained it with a nice drive and finish by him. Okay, Gene and then Sam. Terry, how much did you discuss responding well after the Virginia Tech game and coming in here and, and you know, putting that one behind you and getting out fast this one? Yeah, I mean, there wasn't much turnaround and we know, have great respect for Miami basketball and it's just coming here and um, we just said, don't be deceived by surrendering in the small things. That was kind of our message. I thought we, um, we, we did some good things in that Virginia Tech game. I watched it and I said, you know, don't don't fret. But I said, you you got to come after this with a little more tightness, a little more effort in certain areas, and just clean up. We said tighten up our shot selection. I mean, it wasn't horrible against Virginia Tech, but it wasn't our best. And uh, and then defensively, can we just be better? So I thought, again, the guys responded, and I thought we had good play from our front line um, and did what we needed to. We're, we're not a knockout punch team. We're just going to have to chip away and keep being there and defensively, offensively, and, and hopefully it takes its toll over the course of the game. Okay, Sam. What did Nigel kind of provide for you guys, even defensively? Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Nigel defensively in the second half would be kind of great. Yeah, well, because of li Likes quickness, um, you know, he's quick too and I thought um, he, he kept him in front and he was a little better. You know, he didn't play for three games um, and I just thought he, he gave us a big bucket. He got a nice, got to the front of the rim and missed, I think, a floater but um, his quickness allowed uh, at times, our best guy at times to stay in front of Likes when he was really trying to go. So that, I thought he gave us good minutes. I don't know how many he played tonight. Ten. So, uh, but um, so I, I thought hopefully he can keep coming and get more comfortable, but that quickness was important. Any questions from the home media before we take more from? Okay, we'll take. This is a question coming from an outsider, obviously. How much awareness do your players have of Shamanad? Shamanad? The last this team. This is there. the first time you've played as the number one team since that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, was Coach Larinaga, I think, was he on that staff? Um, yeah, you know, we played my second year at Virginia. We played in the um, the Maui shootout, and that's all they wanted to talk about, right? Uh, that game. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think any of them. I, I, yeah. On the radar at all? No, I don't think they. No, I don't think that was. Yeah, I mean, I, I shoot, I talk about Karate Kid, and I'm talking about the first original movie. They haven't seen that. They're talking about the new one. So they, there's a lot of a lot of things that are past. All right, we'll take one right here on the left. What was your major concern, I guess, or go coming with Miami? Coming yeah. Into the game? And how did you handle it? How do you think you handled it? You know, how fast likes can get down the floor. And, and Bruce Brown being out is a tough blow for them. He's a heck of a player. But I think they've done a good job without watching how they played against Virginia Tech there and how we struggled against Virginia Tech. They lost a tough one. But how quick likes or the other guys get down the floor and how well they spread the floor offensively with four guys that usually can make some plays or shoot it when Lawrence is at the three. So I was just a little worried about handling that spread ball screen and stopping them in transition. That, that's, those were kind of our biggest focuses. And we had a good practice. We didn't do a whole lot after the game on Saturday. So well, yeah, so Sunday was like, but Monday, we had a good practice leading into this. It was brief, but it was pretty spirited. And um, I thought the guys were, had the right mindset. OK, Jeff. When you're when the team was ranked number two, you talked about how you were going to get people's best shot. When you go to number one, you have an even bigger target on your back. I know you don't make a big deal about the rankings, but how did you address the whole ranking? Yeah, I I told them I didn't. I was kind of surprised because we dropped a game Saturday, but I know some other teams did, and you know we beat Florida State early in the week. But when um, I think Eric te texted me, and I found out I. Right before practice, I said to the guys, I said, hey, I said, congrats. I said, you're number one. Do you guys know that? And like, looked at me like, yeah, of course. They got their stuff coming. Another kind of, you know, I had to hear it through. Someone had to call me on the phone and uh, on the landline. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but um, I, I said, congrats. I said, it, it's a great accomplishment. I said, um, be thankful for it. I said, but now let's get into the moment.
Let's be in the moment. And that, that's, that's enough. What, what else can you say? But I don't think you, oh, no, you know, I, they've played well, whether they're number one or not, one, two, whatever. But I congratulate them because it has been, how many years is that? How many? 35. 35. Wow. Um, so it's been a while. And, and again, does it, does it mean anything? You know, I, we just want to keep playing good ball now. And, and we're in a race right now trying to, anytime you get a win on the road, we say it's a birdie. So we got another birdie, and we'll take that. Gene, how much does Ty's thumb bother him? I thought it, yeah. And then how much, yeah. I think that's important. I, I, I'm curious to ask him. He's, he's tough. He won't say much. But I thought he, he looked like he was afraid to launch a couple, and he had a couple bigger misses than usual. So um, I, I, I don't know, but I know the time off. Hopefully we'll heal it up and we can. We've played quite a few games. It's been five games in uh, how many days? Yeah, maybe out of, but it's, it feels like a, almost an NBA schedule. And I feel like just a lot of games from now, you get a bye week and we got to use it to rest, but also to get better and tighten things up more. We'll take a couple more. We'll take one on the far. Did you have a question, sir, on the far right? Did you have one? Okay, then um, Sam, you have one and then Jeff. I'm just curious you know, what, you think, what you're going to see from Isaiah. I mean, it seems like offensively he might not be exactly where he was earlier on in the season. Yeah, um, you know, he. He, uh, he, he lays it on the line um, against Syracuse. He hit some of those high post shots. He hit the little baseline one here. Um, thought he was good against Virginia Tech inside, kicking it out. Isaiah's not a dominant scorer. I don't, you look at us, we don't, we're not an interior scoring team. I thought we did better as far as touching the paint, whether it was off the drive or the catch and getting shots out of it. But, um, you know, Zay is he's so valuable for all the things he does. You know, the five rebounds, the tap outs, and he, he's capable of making some moves. So I want him to try to stay confident and keep working. But, um, you know, he was maybe didn't. He looked a little finishing. They're athletic inside. He wasn't quite as effective with the finishing a couple times you get it. But, man, some of those passes to DeAndre against the zone, I thought those were pretty high level. And he created some good offense that way. Okay, Jeff. Ty got into the lane twice early, got to the foul line. Did you make it a priority to touch the paint, maybe more than against Virginia? Yeah, we just talked about moving and tried to do a few things um, that would give us the chance. And again, we got to take open threes when they're there. We probably, um, you know, overdid it a little bit against Virginia Tech, but. Um, I thought at times Ty got in there, drew the foul, and he had a, a height advantage over Likes. So I thought he did a good job. And then at times we made the nice next pass. And there were stretches of really nice basketball. And then, like I said, there's a couple stretches that, you know, drives coaches crazy. Like, why all of a sudden are we, we losing our way? But for the most part, they responded. Okay, we got, to, we got time for two more. One in the back. And then Defense you uh, against Lonnie Walker and Dewan Hugo, you guys really guarded them into uh, submission time. Yeah, I <laughs> never heard that said like that, but that's a good, and I like that. <laughs> so, um, but I think we did a good job of making them earn. Um, they didn't get many clean looks. We had a couple breakdowns where they got to the rim. I'm talking about Lonnie, and um, I thought, I thought, you know, whether we switched the ball screen, he just, we always had someone in front of him. And that can, over the course of the game, wear on you a little bit, and then, um, you know, they didn't go inside a lot because I thought we were playing good defense. And I have a lot of respect. It's Huel, is that how you pronounce it? OK. Um, he's athletic. But I thought, again, we were when he got it in, we trapped one time. And you know, we were trying to be physical and just you know, really jam, jam up the lane. And I think that's maybe why he didn't get as many touches. But that was a key for us, for sure, because I saw what Lonnie did to Louisville. OK, time for one more in the front here in the line. Been able to break away from the pack a little bit in this game. Does that surprise you, or how do you feel about it? Yeah, I think the league is so balanced, and you know we don't we're not knocking people out. As I said, we're winning games, and they're you know um, it's it's what's well, great. <laughs> I feel good that we're in this spot, but uh, we got some more quality basketball, and it's it's a league. Yeah, at the start of it, I thought there's gonna be a bunch of teams right in there, but um, how can I complain with where we're at? And you know some injuries I think have cost some teams with Notre Dame's injuries, and I think with Miami that those are tough blows.